against my window. I can feel the rain against my window. I can feel the rain. Ain't no sunshine when she's gone. Mm -mm. Only darkness every day. Come here. Come on. Ain't no sunshine when she's gone. This house is not a home. Anytime she goes away. My boy got a haircut yesterday. How's it going, everyone? Hope you are well. Hope everything is good. I hope you have a nice little poopy doopy puppy like this to cuddle with. Got his haircut yesterday. Looks about half the size. It's a good dog right here. Except for the nipping and the digging and the waking me up and the and the and the and the anyway uh here's part one of uh let's see the infamous uh frank slope this is by free thinking american channel link will be in the description uh this guy's done a great videos on frank slope also direct d's done some videos on frank slope and then frank slope this is such an arrogant pos that he went on to some blue green podcast where the host of that show is a cop former cop who realized that marijuana is not the devil's lettuce so to speak and that it helps with pain and it helps with whatever terminal boredom so he's trying to bridge the gap between police and marijuana users because now he smokes all drug laws are unconstitutional if you want to be technical about it because who's the victim uh it's a mutual it's a mutual transaction both parties are agreeing to it it's voluntary no force is being used unlike how you guys do especially this guy right here um if someone takes heroin or whatever it is and dies that's on them their body their choice right Anyway, what's that have to do with anything? I just want to make a, a several part series because I know it's going to take a long time to cover this guy. But this is Frank Slope, deputy and liar, arrogant, egotistical, guarantee this guy would never debate someone like me. But he went on this podcast and then I asked the, the Blue Green podcast if he'd be willing to debate me. Of course, no answer. So let's get a, uh, an idea of who this Frank Slope is. I tell you how this works. Let me see your driver's license or I'm going to pull you out of your car and arrest you for failing to provide ID. I have such a disdain for people like him. He, he has such a disdain for people who stand up for their rights and uh, dare to exercise them. Meet Arizona Pinal County Deputy Frank Slope, a.k.a. former Sergeant Frank Slope, a.k.a. Brady List Frank. Both Lackluster and Direct D have done videos on this guy, with Direct D actually finding him on the streets. It doesn't take much to realize he's a real loose cannon. Hey Frank, how's it going Frank? Frank Slope! Frank Slope! So as he's shining the flashlight in Direct D's camera, the other auditor is shining at him and then he freaks out and shines it at him and starts threatening him. If you shine that light at me, I am going to arrest you for interfering oh with this Oh my god! brief Google search shows that he's already at the center of several lawsuits, including an excessive force lawsuit. He's also on the Brady List. For those who don't know, the Brady List is a list of cops that lack credibility to testify in court because of misconduct. So, he's on the Brady List. The Brady List is a, a list of cops who have been caught lying or fabricating or smudging paperwork or filling it out wrong or misconduct. They don't have credibility in court because the uh, opposing attorney could just say this guy's a liar proven liar this guy's on the brady list but he still gets to work as a cop even though he's a liar has no credibility they are technically allowed to testify but even a novice attorney could destroy their credibility see they're technically allowed to, to testify so this guy goes in court, and if he's facing anyone with two brain cells, he'll say, this guy's on the Brady list. What are we doing here? As you might imagine, landing on the Brady list is a metaphorical death sentence for any police officer. Frank has been on the list since 2017. To understand why I obtained his disciplinary records from the state of Arizona, let's take a look into Frank Slope's background to see why he's on the Brady list. Yeah, let's. First, a little bit of background. 
Frank completed his academy training in July 2001, sponsored by and later appointed to the Scottsdale Police Department that same year. His time there was short-lived, separating in May 2022. The reason for separation is not known, but labeled as misconduct. In November 2002, he's appointed as Maricopa County Parks and Recreation Officer and later transfers to the Maricopa County Sheriff's Office in September 2003. While he's there, he is promoted to sergeant and lasts there until 2017. The incident of interest is in April 2017. Here is the report from the Arizona Peace Officer and Standards Training Board. On Saturday, April 8, 2017, at approximately 11.40 p.m., Sergeant Slope arrested a subject for aggravated DUI and booked him into jail. Aggravated DUI? I'm drunk! You're aggravating me! I'm drunk! Stop aggravating me! Slope completed most of the reports the next morning, Sunday, April 9th, and then worked an off-duty job at Chase Field. On Monday, April 10th, Slope obtained the arrested person's driving record from Colorado and submitted the final report to another supervisor for review. The date of the report submittal automatically printed April 10th, 2017, and the reviewing supervisor correctly dated his review April 10th, 2017 as well. It was later learned that Slope changed two dates, which included the date the supervisor reviewed the report of April 10th, 2017 to April 9th, 2017. Later the next day, an administrative assistant noticed two dates of April 10th, 2017 appeared to have been changed to April 9th. The submittal date clearly had white out across it and now read April 9th, 2019. The review date of April 10th, 2017 now had the number 9 written over the 10. On June 15th, 2017, Sergeant Slope was interviewed by professional standards investigators Slope told investigators he had changed both dates in question due to the fact he finished the report on April 9, 2017, but couldn't get their driving records until the 10th. Slope said he was aware the MCSO policy directed deputies complete reports before the end of shift, which was April 9, 2017, and he wanted the dates to reflect that he had completed the report on the 9th. Sergeant Slope also told investigators he didn't want the reviewing supervisor to get into any type of trouble because the submittal and reviewing dates were recorded as April 10, 2017, which was one day after the original shift. Slope regarded the changes as administrative in nature and the changes did not negatively impact the case in any way. MCSO sustained allegations that Sergeant Slope violated the truthfulness and other report related policies when he changed the dates. Sergeant Slope resigned prior to any discipline. On November 6, 2017, Mr. Slope was appointed as a deputy with the Pinal County Sheriff's Office. Frank resigned in August 2017 after a board review before any disciplinary action. His case was also passed to the Arizona Standards Board for possible misconduct. Rule 13-4-109, the board may deny certified status or suspend or revoke the certified status of a peace officer for committing a felony, an offense that would be a felony if committed in this state, or an offense involving dishonesty, unlawful sexual conduct, or physical violence, or 12, engaging in any conduct or pattern of conduct that tends to disrupt, diminish, or otherwise jeopardize public trust in the law enforcement profession. Mr. Slope's incident clearly involved dishonesty and tampering with police documents. He also engaged in conduct that would diminish the public's trust of law enforcement. From this incident, no action was taken due to agency discretion, which means Maricopa County was protecting him. So he did all that stuff wrong, he lied, he's, he's not credible, all that stuff he just rattled off, and they still protected him. Bad cops get protection, in case you haven't noticed. My guess is the sheriff's office agreed not to go after his certificate if he resigned peacefully. So where is Frank today? See how good the math you are. Eight, add eight miles an hour onto 85. Do your turn signals work? Because you've never used one. They also get a free pen. They're dirty and I don't want to back. I like it. Did you put those stickers on your car? The public is dirty. Driving is self-proclaimed. I think he's probably right. You must be vertically challenged. May have been. Dude, does this guy think he's an insult comedian?
Wait till I do part two. Confused with the 79 as in State Route 79 or Speed 79. T should. I think you're confused as to which oath you took. Was it to be a code of traffic, code enforcement officer, or a constitutional sheriff's deputy? Which one are you? Be allowed to operate remote control car. Looks like you robbed a store and took all their air fresheners. I do this for a living. You don't. And today, how do you know what he does for a living? Today he's on traffic duty because he's on the Brady list. He continues to insult the citizens he serves. And in my opinion, Frank is a liability and unfit to serve as a peace officer. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Please share and subscribe. I tell you how. So there you go, guys. There's part one, Frank, Deputy Frank Slope. Uh, messed around with documents. I guess it was a serious offense and, be, and, and landed himself on the Brady list as an uncredible witness to anything. So if you ever arrested by this guy or fined or feed or ticketed, remember Frank Slope or Sloop if you're hooked on phonics. Go to court. Make sure you go to court because his testimony in court is garbage. Just like him. All right, so there's part one, everybody. Thanks so much for watching. Hopefully tomorrow, and I'll try to get the parts out as soon as I can, but this guy needs to be known. He needs to be recognized where he goes. And, you know, in the one video direct, he was calling him Frankie Baby. You see him on the streets? Say, hey, Frankie Baby. What's up, Brady List? All right, everyone, thanks for watching. Part one of, what am I going to name this? The infamous, the infamous Deputy Sloop. Slope. Slope. Thanks for watching. Peace.